Hi, my name is Sam and this is a Viso tutorial on large disk data. So in this tutorial, we will cover how to work with larger data sets like gigabytes or terabytes in size. So the, one of the, there are two main ways you can do this in a Viso. So the first way, we're going to open the data as and we're going to go to Viso. We're going to click open the data as and we're going to go to our Viso file directory. And we're going to go to data and we're going to go all the way down to tutorials and then chocolate bar. So then we can click, they give us all these different ways we can open it as. So the way I want to open it is a Viso as large disk data, which allows you to only specify a certain sub volume that you want to be rendered and put into your memory. So once we have this, we're going to click Extract Subvolume. And you can see this subvolume pops up. So we can do this entire thing. And you can drag each of these wherever you want, say like this. OK. So you can see how big the data will be extracted to. So it's 2.3 megabytes. And you can see your available system memory. So if I max out this everything, it's 23.14 megabytes. And if you want, if even at the smallest amount you can work with, it's still too big, you can use this subsample button and it will decimate your data by a lot. It can also, it says how big your data set will be right here. I'm just gonna click apply and you can just attach a volume rendering to this very easily. Now just look at the difference when I click off subsample. And I'm going to show you the next way to do this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into preferences and we're going to go to LDA. So this stands for large data access. So this is in a format of Viso provides that allows you to work with large data sets interactively. The downside is you cannot load data sets over 8 gigabytes without the X Y, Z volume back, which allows you to load data sets up to several terabytes. So in default, this is set to 1024 or one gigabyte. But for today, we're going to set it to 10 megabytes so I can show you with, some fi with a file that you already have on your computer. So just click apply and okay. And now whenever I click open data and go click on chocolate bar, this out of core data pops up. So the each of these formats has different pluses and minuses. This requires a lot of memory, and this one requires to create a new file. This one I would not really use. So you just okay, click OK, and you can just save it anywhere. And it just go, right goes right ahead and opens up. And you just can apply a volume rendering, and it will open up at full res. OK, so there you go. And these are two great ways you can visualize large data sets in a Visa. Thanks so much for watching.